Hi, this is Julian for Production Expert, and I've got a copy of Listen Hub from Sonox. This is a software monitor controller, which you might think sounds like a terrible idea, and how would that work? Well, actually, it kind of does. Here's how it works. It's a system-wide application uh, on a Mac, and that means that it sits between your DAW and your audio interface, just like a, a monitor controller would. And the way you set it up is you get your DAW to talk to this intermediary, this software that sits between the outputs of the DAW and the inputs of the monitor controller. Here's how you do it. Uh, up here, let's open Listen Hub. Here it is. This is what it looks like. And what you need to do is you need to route one of these three inputs, uh, route your DAW to one of these. I'm going to send it to main. So how you do that in Pro Tools is, uh, I'll put this away, it sits on top, but we'll get to how you get to it in a minute. Uh, what I need to do is I need to come into my playback engine in Pro Tools. This is going to be similar in any DAW. And here, for my playback engine, instead of talking to my interface, like this uh, Focusrite Thunderbolt, I talk to Listen Hub. What happens then is uh, in the I.O., if I come into the I.O., I'm presented with some inputs. I'm presented with three outputs, system, main, and reference, three pairs of stereo outputs, and uh, one input, a loopback, so I can loop back something from uh, some other piece of software. So, for example, I can record the output from my browser into my DAW. Really handy, that. Anyway, that's all you really need to do, apart from go into the bus, and if you've been using something else, you need to make sure that uh, your mix bus in this example is routed to the main left and main right. There we go. So that is sorted. Okay, so how do I get to it? I can open up that app, but then it'll be on screen, it'll be in the way. So there is uh, an app that can sit on a device. It can sit on your phone, or it can sit on your iPad. So here's Listen Hub on my iPad, and what we've got is we've got these three inputs. We've got two sets of outputs. Uh, main and alt. I've got my headphones on alt, and uh, on the main, they go into my monitors. Instead of having a volume control, I've got this uh, four buttons. I've got loud, normal, quiet, and soft. Each of these represent a 6 dB reduction in level. So I set normal to a comfortable listening level. If you run calibrated monitoring, that would be normal. And uh, then you can uh, uh, increase or reduce from there. Obviously, we've got dim, we've got mute. And then we've got some other stuff. So let's hit play, see what goes on. Here is my DAW output. We can't hear anything because I'm on system. But if we see we've got this green light next to main and one on reference. We'll get to that. If I hit main, there we go. If I hit reference, we'll hear something different. Here I've got a reference track in Pro Tools. That's over here, my reference track. And here what I've done is I've routed on the output. Instead of going to main, I'm going to reference. And because of that, I can listen to a reference track from within my DAW without messing about about doing the exclusive or solos and all this kind of stuff. You can control it from your monitor controller, just like you would if you routed from outputs three and four on your interface into your hardware monitor controller. Really nice system. And then I've got the system output. So what I can do is I can run a reference track. This is where you might run Spotify, for example, uh, as your system audio and access that from the system button there there's going to be some copyright issues there. So what I've got instead is I've got some copyright-free music off of YouTube. So we'll have a quick listen to this. We can't hear anything because it's on the system output. Well, that's certainly different from my track. I hit play in Pro Tools, and on main, there's my track, there's my reference, and there's some noise from YouTube. So there we go. What have we got in here? What we've got is we've got various uh, tools for, we'll, we'll pop on the reference actually, and we can band solo across these preset bands. We can monitor loudness and we can monitor dynamics. And we've got this uh, dynamics history. This measures in PSR, which is a peak to short term ratio, very useful. And of course, here's my volume control, like so. It's not actually restrictive having those four preset levels. Here's my track I'm mixing. I can mono that. I can listen to just the sides. And I can do other things like swapping left and right, etc. So that's how that works. I can swap between my monitor sources. But here's something that's really nice. I've got all three running at the same time. If I hit match input loudness, it'll take a loudness measurement of those three sources and I'll get a loudness matched 
level between all three. Anyway, that's uh, a very quick tour of Listen Hub. There's an awful lot more to it, but does it work for me? Yes, it kind of does. So, yeah, if you don't have a monitor controller at the moment, this is a really, really useful alternative to one. And if you want something that's uh, possibly going to replace that uh, that box that's on your desktop getting in the way, this might be an answer, particularly because you can host plugins in it. In this case, on my monitors, I'm running Sonarworks. So that's Listen Hub from Sonox. To find out more, go to the article on the Production Expert blog. <laughs>